more since for get famous cassie and savannah are currently bubbling in the hot tub and you might be surprised to see that savannah is a redhead again but uh she had a gig and they dyed her hair um orange or girls are bubbling in the bubble bath and they are just having oh that butt nice last memories in this house as you may be surprised to hear that the girls are moving i can't completely make up her mind whether or not she wants to get into hot tub but um no, I guess she's getting out. Maybe she is better off just to do a yoga routine, just something to relax herself just a little bit. And Cassie, of course, is rather interested in the brownies because that's just how Cassie is. <laughs> the girls are moving. You heard it right. And you may be surprised. Maybe you are not surprised. Maybe this is not a shock at all. I, don't, I think you guys probably have seen it coming. The girls are really desperately missing their boyfriends and as I was saying in the other parts that they are really really excited to you know to be living together again but the only thing is is that they've been living together when they were super young like in their early 20s and then they've lived together with their boyfriends and as much as they love living together again they're really missing their male companions remember that paulo and saint lamar actually living together at one time because paulo didn't have a house anymore when savannah sold her apartment and then uh, since cassie moved in with savannah here in san not san as you know um delso valley that left space for paulo to come live with salem but salem already Salem wanted to move out and so did Cassie. They both really wanted to move out, but they were planning on doing it after they actually had some more money. Until Savannah was like, why don't we just rent a place together? Instead of just, you know, getting one house for two people, why don't we get two houses or one house for four people? There was nothing big enough for rent for four people, but the closest that was up for rent was this house over there. These are coming over later today to take out this stuff, which gives us some time to collect everything and do what we need to do before it's that time, the moving time. Everything is going really fast, but the girls have been planning this for, for days and days and days now. And I obviously haven't recorded in a while, so there has been some time in between. Um, hello, Savannah. We need celebrity to promote TV dinner. Okay, so we need to... Hmm, cooking. So TV dinner, a drone, focus on cooking. Okay, so there is something we need to do first. So um, they want us to record ourselves making some food. I don't think it's actually been doing... Okay, let me just go back to Savannah for a second. She's been she's been climbing so flipping far so far she's she's actually pretty known i wouldn't say she's like super super known but she's she's pretty pretty known um cassie however finds it really hard to keep her points up to keep her fame she's been writing a lot of songs and kind of isolating her in her own house or in this rental house and it's not exactly what she wants so she feels a little uninspired and maybe moving back in with the boyfriends will really really help her to get kind of back into uh, the business oh and i'm really excited as well because we're gonna see betty back a little kitty and uh, just just i'm just really excited for this move but before we do that we have some things to do and we also have a dinner scheduled yeah you'll be surprised as heck to not a dinner actually a lunch with the twins the uh, the twins yeah not just any kind of twins uh, the twins and for some reason the girls are both feeling rather sad i think they really did like this house or they really did like living together and i guess part of them is feeling a little i guess a little sad that that's going to be different now and it's 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 different i think that must be why they're sad i can't really see that's what i'm not doing really need a pep talk i'm gonna miss this house honestly but what do we do we pay our bill what do we what do we get from the mailbox <gasps> Savannah got some fan mail. Oh, but am I allowed? I'm not gonna. No, I'm not gonna open it. I'm not going to open it. No, 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 no. Let's. Oh my god, I want her to open this. Oh my god, I want her to open it. Stop what you're doing. Come over here, Cassie. I I want to see this. I want to see this so incredibly bad. I want to see what's in the. Oh, that looks so cute. Oh, we didn't actually get to see her opening. Oh my god, okay, anyway. You are so brave. You are the greatest role model for all people, including me. Thank you so much for supporting your fans. I love you. Oh my god. That's so cute. 
What a thoughtful message from a fan. Savannah feels re-energized to face her role as a public figure. Now, we're still sad, and we're going to be sad for about 21 more hours. Wow, we're going to be sad for two days. That's... <laughs> that's... That's a major downer. That's a major downer. Like, let's be real. We're not teens anymore. We don't need to behave like teenagers. We don't need to slap each other and call each other names and blackmail each other. Like, that's so old school. That's so high school. Honestly, that's such high school bullshit. Like, we're way past that. So we decided to go on a little lunch with the twins. I can't actually believe they agreed to come, but that's another story. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I, I wonder Anna how it's and her are talking outside. We're not exactly sure what's going on or whatever. We're trying to have her sit down and have some dinner with us or some lunch in this case. I think Cassie got a table for everyone. I'm not exactly sure. Cassie, where are you going? Perhaps. Actually, she's coming here, so it would not surprise me unless she's just here to use the bathroom for that you know, I just don't really know. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna request this table and let's see if she actually wants to join us. I'm trying. Oh, Paolo. I, oh, Paolo, I'm gonna see you later. We don't have to go on the date right now. We're gonna see you later anyway. Aw. So that would be really nice. I I don't have high hopes. Let's, let's be honest. I don't have high hopes and she, I don't know. Could, could, uh, excuse me. Why is Katrina here? <laughs> Okay, so Katrina decided to join us. I don't actually know why she's here or what she's doing. Um, let's just start ordering um, for the table and whether or not she joins us, I'm not exactly sure. You know, Katrina's here for some reason. I don't even know why she's here, to be honest. It's still lunchtime and um, I think we should all just go for some coffee. I'm not paying for Katrina. Katrina gets nothing, to be honest. Over. Maybe we can get her to, um, you know, call over. I know that we shouldn't really be hanging out with the enemy um, in this case, but we're adults, you know, we're not some teens. We're, we're not, you know... <laughs> I don't, you know, you know what I'm saying? We're not just some, I don't know, some, 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 some teenager that's supposed to just get along with their friends anyway. All is off or something, or maybe she just wanted to see if we actually showed up. Regardless, this did not go as planned. We're trying to be civil, we're trying to be adults, but she's just not even attempting to come and sit with us. I think she just doesn't even want to try at this point, which is very disappointing because clearly we are here to try. Katrina is the sister of one of her friends, so maybe that's why she's sitting here. Though, look, look at those boobs. Dude, they're, they're ginormous in this dress. Just ginormous. Maybe it's just me, but they look just absolutely ginormous. Um, she's not pregnant, I don't think at least. Oh yeah, I guess uh, that's, just, that's just how it is. I guess it's just nothing gonna happen. We're gonna wait for her food, have some lunch. Um, you know what? Uh, she's not here. We can't really reconcile with anyone, but at least... We can still have a good time and then uh, we can, you know, we can just move in later. And, oh my god, did you just drop my food? Did you just drop my food? What the heck, man? We're gonna get it done and perhaps maybe we'll stay in with some pizza tonight. Just with the boyfriends and stuff. We're really hungry and um, unfortunately this is how it had to be. So, um, yeah, let's get settled into our own home. And uh, we still have to do that cooking video that we... Yeah, we haven't done, but perhaps we can do it in the morning or maybe we can make something else. I don't really know, but we have time for that as long as we get it done for tomorrow. Anyway, let's just first get back home, get hopefully settled in. Um, the leash is up pretty soon anyway, so we could just move in now and then probably get the rest of the stuff later, which would be perfect. And we're just gonna have to find some other way to get this whole thing with the twins to be civil i guess we just have to find another way to get them to behave um on a more mature level with us and hopefully if they don't want to take the step we can take the step and if that doesn't work then i don't even i think the best thing is just to is just to ignore them but you know how much can you do that right <laughs> the moving in went actually really smooth and i mean you know moving from there to here really is not the biggest deal 
the biggest change i just want to just get the land wow <laughs> i do want to give a disclaimer and say that these houses are originally built by little simsy i just did the honors of changing what they look like um that includes the outside and the inside i changed them completely but for the rest um i'll i, I changed the colors and everything so yeah it's probably combined work anyway so this is a two under one i'm even more excited about because it's my kitty kitty salem is feeling really oh seems like paulo just walked in on salem he's feeling a little insecure so he's going himself i think a pep talk in the mirror and uh where is savannah savannah is really tired she's already um on in bed but it seems like three of them are gonna spend some time together or maybe not you know what i feel like we should just have some one-on-one -on -one time with our boyfriend so let's oh but we still okay we have to get up tomorrow really early and do savannah's um little thing what we need to do but for now let's just let's just have some alone time with our boyfriends looks like paulo is also really really embarrassed <laughs> Let's get him over here. Um, where's the toilet? <gasps> there. Oh, I forgot a toilet. Oh my god. I'm. <laughs> oh my god. Can I? Can you believe I didn't put a toilet in here? You better believe that because I didn't. Ah. <laughs> uh. uh. I really like Salem. I really like Cassie and Salem together. They're just so flipping cute. What? What's up with the bed now? <laughs> oh, never mind. It's... Nope. <laughs> oh, come on, Salem. A little romance in your life. Did you just really go to sleep? <laughs> it's like, woman, you take too long. I'm gonna go first. I'm just gonna go to sleep. You take too long. All right, there we go. A little romance. Nothing wrong with that. All right, so I guess that's how the night is going to be. It looks like Savannah is up uh, taking a shower. Perhaps she couldn't go to bed without recording that one video. You know, it's it's been really... um, It's been really on her mind lately. All the work and all the fame and everything that she has to do. And it would not surprise me, honestly, if that's like all that she can think of, you know, because... It's, it's such a big part of her life right now. She's doing actually really, really well and getting so much gigs. And I'm just really, like, really happy for her. If that makes sense. Of course it makes sense. I'm just really happy for her. But Paolo is still trying to deal with all of this. He still finds it a little hard to deal with. And it's because he saw Savannah in one of the latest ads. And she had to kiss with some other guy. I have some pictures of it here. Uh, it's also when she dyed her hair back um, to her ginger orangey color and just seeing his fiance just kiss with another guy even though it was fake just made him really 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 insecure which i can't imagine it was it was really hard for him to watch and he's he's not exactly sure if he's ready for his girlfriend to be all up and you know and with people you know he's everyone can see his fiance on tv snogging another dude you know and he feels really insecure about this all and he doesn't want to show that because he's a macho man and he doesn't really want anyone to see those emotions but that's the truth he really is he really is a little bit <laughs> jealous lately she's been she's been spending most of her nights just writing songs it's like when the inspiration comes the inspiration comes and she just has to write it down so we were we were working on a mourn a mournful lament uh, and i guess now that we are up i might as well just try and finish it i mean i don't think salem should be bothered if i sing at this i mean it's 2 a.m i don't think it's well it's in the other room we we should be fine right should we i think we should be fine she's just doing her thing over there and then we are doing our thing over there. So it's just amazing. Look like we're doing pretty good right now. But don't forget that's the combined of uh, the two. And I would say at this point that it's probably... Hmm. I wouldn't say that. Let's see. We sold the house. Pretty much. Savannah has a little bit of money. I think Savannah has probably like 30k. And then the other 50 is probably from Salem. Because he sold the house... Yeah, well, maybe 40. I think 40, 40, 40. No, I think, yeah, 30,000 is from Savannah and then 40,000 is from Cassie. 
because like I said, Cassie and Salem sold the other house and they got some money from that and we were renting the other place so that's definitely not our money. But 30,000 and 40,000 is definitely not enough to have our own place. You know, that's definitely not enough to have a house and a stable, like a stable income. At this point, it's better for Cassie to rent this place and stay here until she has a good finance situation than, you know, to buy her own house. Excuse me, we better, okay, I was about to say, we better still be streaming, like I would be super pissed at that. It does hard work for nothing. Um, but they're like, she wants a big ass mansion. Like, she is nowhere near that money. Nowhere near. And I feel like it's going to be easier for her to get that money because obviously, you know, she's doing, well, pretty much. She's, she's doing a lot of things that gives her money. Like, she has her acting, her gigs, her side jobs, some fan stuff. But Cassie only has her music because she's not doing very well. Well, I, all that, okay, um, that, that's fine. Hopefully that did it. Was that it? Hopefully that was it. Maybe we need to, act, okay, hold up. Maybe we need to actually upload the video. Maybe that's what we need to do right now. Aw, I've actually never, I don't actually know if Betty and Savannah know each other, right? Oh, they're so cute. She spent the entire night working her butt off but she finally managed to make her deadline. Savannah and the footage is ace. Our editors are already recutting it to meet the needs of the client, but don't worry. I know they're going to love it. Keep your phone handy. We'll ring you with another opportunity soon. All right, well, we did what we had to do. We got a bonus. We're feeling a little dizzy. I give us, you know, we've been up pretty much the entire day. Let's see what Salem is up to. Um, it looks like they're using each other's house, but I mean, who would resist some of this pork? I would, to be honest, but the cookies, I would not, you know, I would, I would eat the sugar cookies. <laughs> Paolo is attempting to deadlift a new personal best and is achingly close to getting the barbell on the ground. Though he usually throns at other sims who grunt and shriek at the gym. It's saying Paolo thinks that it might just give him the push he needs. Scream. <laughs> Paolo lets out a grunt, then a screech, and then an echoing guttural snarl, which causes the entire gym to stop and stare. Unfortunately, this noise is, this no, these noises didn't help with the lifting whatsoever. What, lifting Paolo hunched over and, oh, why is nothing ever going the way that we should post? Career. I, I try to make them look the same. Hopefully that worked. <laughs> anyway, that's all for now, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next part. Bye!